First of four races from Fairy House, and it's the first of the two grade ones. It's the Royal Bond, Novice Hurdle, Kingdom of Wine, Joshua Sutherland, William Tell, Ryan Tamasebi, joint favourite, Du Hast for Leon Van Rensburg, Galanti Zara for Craig Allen, the other joint favourite, God of the Mind, Leon Van Rensburg, second runner, and Zarex for Craig Beckwith. So a small field. As the starter lets them go, a relatively small field for the Royal Bond as they go over the first flight there, and all of them jumped it really slick. So... Small field but full of quality here with horses which we'll surely be seeing targeting the big novice hurdle races throughout the season, particularly at the festivals uh, when it comes round to Cheltenham Aintree and Punchestown. So a little bit slow at the back there was God of Mind. Zarex has gone out into a good early lead as you can see the stands there in the background and they pass what will be the winning post in a circuit's time. Four top quality races here from Fairy House with a Hatton's Grace hurdle to follow and two of Moore's Millions staying chase races as well. So Zarex has opened up a pretty big gap already as we go to the next flight of hurdles and the rest of them all racing in a bunch. We've got Duhast unbeaten over hurdles and racing. That one's racing on the inside of Joshua Sutherland's Kingdom of Wine. Galandi Zara, who's a winner on week one, over on the rail in the green and gold hoops for Craig Allen. And in between that one and the other, Leon Van Rensburg, a god of the mind, is the uh, one of the favourites, William Tell, that, like many of Ryan Tamasebi's runners so far, is not jumping particularly well, put in a bit of a mistake there, got over that hurdle really awkwardly. Um, and that one was also a winner on week one in a novice hurdle and has followed up with two runs on the National Hunt flat. Uh, coming third and then winning last week's Newport County Bumper at Chepstow. So back over the hurdles today. There's a few of these. I've got a really good record over hurdles so far as you would expect for a grade one. So we're into the final nine furlongs. And William Tell just now trying to close up on the back of that chasing group again after that earlier mishap. Got a mind. Is still got his nose out in front of that pack, but they're still all a good four or five lengths behind uh, Zarex, who's been the leader since the tapes went up. Galandi Zara was the one who was slightly slower than the others at that last flight of hurdles, and William Tell's now starting to creep ever closer on the outside, and they're all travelling up very smoothly in behind this leader, Zarex, who's still a maiden coming into this race, uh, the only one of these runners who's yet to win a race this season but Zarex is going to try and do it all from the front another slow awkward jump towards the rear of the field from William Tell Galandi Zara wasn't too much uh, slicker either and neither was God of the Mind on the inside and those three are really going to have to start closing the gap Kingdom of Wine travelling strongly but the jockey now starting to hit the go button on that one and the response isn't immediate from any of these more fancied horses in behind Zarex but Duhast is travelling very powerfully for Leon Van Rensburg as we come to the four furlong marker but still Zarex is the one that They've all got to beat. Duhast second coming over that, but a really good jump from Kingdom of Wine allows that to move forward into second. William Tell now starting to make really good progress from the back. Alandi Zara and God of the Mind, the jockeys are hard at work, and they're struggling at the moment to really land a blow and suggest that they're going to be involved at the finish, but there is still two and a half furlongs left to go, and Zarex is now kicking on and opening up a lead, and William Tell is now the one that comes out of the pack to chase it down as they pass the two furlong marker and come the next flight of hurdles. Super jump from William Tell up on the outside, and that one's now coming up alongside the long-time leader. Galandi Zara is now finally starting to get going. Kingdom of Wine struggling to stay on. Looks a bit one-paced, as does Duhast at the moment, but we've come to the last flight of hurdles. William Tell navigates it safely and still has the lead over Zarex. Galandi Zara, Kingdom of Wine, Duhast have got nothing left to offer, and William Tell wins the Royal Bond. A shade cosily in the end. God of the Mind, the other Leon Van Rensburg runner, the last one home and slightly detached at the back of the pack there, but William Tell settled itself after making a mistake the jockey remains super confident on it and the four to one joint favorite lands a second novice hurdle two from two over hurdles for the season three out of four uh, over all the t different types of races and a really good grade one win there for my stable Zarex a really good run back in second for Craig Beckwith Galanti Zara the other joint favorite stayed on for third but never really threatened to win for Craig Allen Duhast looked a touch outpaced and uh, stayed on into fourth but could do no better and Kingdom of Wine fifth for Joshua Sutherland